honestly, Kyle Anderson playing for China was somewhat underwhelming. They got their first win over Angola. And again, nothing against Kyle Anderson. And I think he just wanted to represent a national team and represent his family's country. I believe it's through his grandmother. But look, Kyle, baby, Kyle, you played in, I guess, technically four World Cup games. And in those four World Cup games, it was a mixed bag, okay? What against Serbia you scored zero points. Against South Sudan, you scored 22. Against Puerto Rico, you scored nine. Against Angola, you scored 17. Now it's through four four games. You were out there, you scored 12 points a night while grabbing about I guess it'd be like five, almost five rebounds a night, dishing out four assists. It really wasn't anything insane for Kyle Anderson, but you were kind of like hoping that it was. It was kind of a weird situation because for me at least, like I would, I I really thought that Kyle Anderson was gonna, you know, make some noise, be a threat, and maybe China would go on a run. But that's not what happened at all. All right. We're talking, he didn't do anything. He did not do anything. And I don't know if that's because of his own good or because of the team was that bad. But I was just expecting a bit more from Kyle Anderson in the FIBA World Cup. Maybe that's my fault that I was expecting more. And I don't know if that's just me being dumb, but I do want to hear your guys' thoughts on here. Like, do you guys agree with me that I you for him being an NBA player, the best player on his team, I felt like there wasn't a huge jump in, I guess, in talent or whatever. Uh, what, what do you guys think? Are you guys in agreement with me? Or am I just dumb for thinking this? I just thought it was interesting how it's all played out. But again, it is also something that I think is more of a matter of opinion than I would say importance. But yeah, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What are you guys thinking? Why? But yeah, I, I definitely think that this is one of those situations where when you look at it, you try to understand like, wow, you would think Kyle Anderson being an NBA player would have dominated a bit more than he did, but he didn't. So it just leaves you kind of wondering like, oh, okay, and that's it. So that's kind of how I feel about it. Now, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. If there was anything else you guys would have liked to have heard, let me know down below. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for us today. I really do appreciate every single one of you who takes the time to watch these videos, likes, comments, and subscribes. It means the world to me. So we're on the way to 1,000, I mean, 20,000 subscribers. So it would mean the world. If you guys would be able to come support the channel so thank you for that and if there was anything else i could have made a video on let me know but also by the way dude i could not find like a ton of pictures for kyle anderson on china they're not as easy as you think they're just on getty's image so that's why if they look kind of funny or fuzzy, it's because I got them off of Getty's image and I needed to do it a certain way so that the the watermark wouldn't be there, if that makes sense. Also, Kyle Anderson with the, the eyeglasses makes me laugh pretty hard, so I will say that. But that's it for me.